What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about ESL Plus and how some in the community would like to see more things added to it. One reason being, if you have not played the game for that long, the DLC cycle has changed. We used to get the same amount of DLC, but it was four small DLCs. They were all included with Plus. Now, of course, they have gone to where we get three DLCs with Plus and then the one big story chapter everyone has to buy, whether you're an ESL Plus member or not. So most players feel like now that you're paying that uh, here in the U.S. It's like 16 bucks a month. Uh, you're pretty much paying for a crafting bag, which I think should be left in ESO Plus. A lot of people want to have it free. I don't think that'll ever happen. But the crafting bag does make life easier. But if you're not a crafter, you really don't necessarily need it. If you're like myself, you don't always have ESO Plus. Of course, I play other games, upload other games here on the channel. So I'm not always playing the Elder Scrolls day in and day out. So the times that I'm not playing a lot, I don't buy ESO Plus. If I'm hopping in and playing every day or playing several times a week, I will buy ESO Plus. But I have a lot of character slots. I have all 18 character slots available, so I can just make mule-style characters and store stuff that I need there. Some people will actually just get bulk amounts of items and then sell them in a guild trader. There's a lot of different ways that you can you know, kind of manage your inventory without that uh, crafting bag. So a lot of people feel like ESO Plus needs some things added to it to make it more beneficial. Now, there's two things included in ESO Plus that I think needs to be gotten rid of and given to the community just in general for everyone to have. That is the double bank space. Of course, you can buy so much crafting bag space and bank space up to a point. And if you want more bank space and you want that, you know, crafting bag, you have to buy ESO Plus. I think they should take, uh, take the bank space out of ESO Plus and actually give everyone the option to buy up to those max slots that you get. That double bank space you get, I think you should be able to buy that in-game. Another thing is the double housing space. If you have ESO Plus, you have a large house, you can have up to 700 items in that home. I think everyone should have that double housing space, no matter what size your house is. Then they should add something to ESO Plus, like maybe 1,200 housing slots. You know, something that's going to add a big amount. Because we all know, no matter what size house you have, there's not enough housing slots in the game, whether you have Plus or not. So I think they could take away those two things and then add some things in. I've seen a lot of different suggestions within the community, more deals uh, for crown store items, maybe one crate or two crates a month you get for free for being a ESO Plus member, uh, more slots for things like outfits or armory slots. Uh, some other things they could do that I've seen people in the community mention is more quick slots, maybe more discounts on outfit price reductions, a reduction in cost to transmuting items. I think that's a pretty good idea if you're an ESO Plus member. Uh, transmuting an item costs less. Uh, discounts on repairing armor, maybe discounts on master writ items. Maybe they could give you actual master writs every month, you know, like larger ones, not where you're getting these, you know, when you're doing your daily crafting stuff where they're like maybe five or eight writs. Maybe they would give you a guaranteed large writ every month, 100 plus writs. Uh, something like new characters get mount speed boost. That was one of the best suggestions that I have seen within the community. And I think that would be a very good one. I think that would be a very, a very beneficial one. And a lot of people would buy ESO Plus just for that reason. If you make a new character, you actually get a bonus in how fast you can rank up your mount. So right now it takes 60 days for speed, 60 days for stam, 60 days for carry capacity. What if ESO Plus members got that cut in half? So it only took 30, 30, and 30. So you're down to 90 days to be able to rank up your mount. I think that would be a big benefit. I also think people would actually be interested in ESO Plus if players got more discounts on items or if they got some crates just in general for free because players like buying things. And if you got more discounts for being an ESO Plus member, if, for example, everything in the store was discounted for ESO Plus members, I think more people would be buying ESO Plus, and then that would in return make people buy more things from the store, which in general is going to make the game more money. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you like the way ESO Plus is now? Would you like to see some adjustments to it from Zoss' side to make it more beneficial? Is there some other things that you would like to see added to ESO Plus that I did not mention in this video? Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.